Well, the problem with nationalized healthcare is it just doesn't work. If we take our cue from the Canadians and we look at their system, we see that it's riddled with problems. Patients wait hours to see a doctor. They'll wait years or um, at least months to get an MRI or a hip replacement. And interestingly, their system was just taken to their own Supreme Court in Canada, where it was ruled essentially unconstitutional. There was a patient there who waited a year for a hip replacement. Um, he could not pay to get his hip replacement by a private doctor. And the Supreme Court of Quebec essentially said that this is unconstitutional. Um, the, the Chief Justice who wrote the decision said, quote, access to a waiting list is not access to health care. So I think it's very important that we not fall into the same trap in this country by simply saying that access to a waiting list or having an insurance policy is in fact health care. It's not. Well, insurance is not the problem. Um, if you look at the average person who has an insurance policy, they'll tell you they're very dissatisfied with the system. So why would we then conclude that the solution to inadequate access to a doctor is to insure everyone? Um, it just doesn't make any sense. The problem with our current health care system is people don't have access to a doctor. They don't have access to an internist or a family practitioner. If you look at the Massachusetts experiment where everyone is now required to have insurance, you'll see that access to physicians has actually worsened. Now we have 50,000 more people or 500,000 more people on a, on a public program where they're guaranteed insurance, but now there aren't enough private care doctors to go around. So it's very important to understand this point. Insurance is not access to care. The crux of the problem is that we have a shortage of primary care doctors. Primary care medicine is the most effective way, the most cost-effective way to take care of patients. In this country, we spend far more than other countries on basic health care, and the reason is that we have a system of specialists and techniques and procedures that cost a tremendous amount of money. If people were to see primary care physicians, a great deal of money could be saved. The problem is that it's such an unattractive profession that nobody's going into primary care medicine anymore. Well, a couple things. Number one, you have to pay primary care physicians more. Number two, they have to have some autonomy so they're not forced onto a medical treadmill where they're seeing 30 or 40 patients a day. So nobody in their right mind is going to choose that profession. And if we look at the trend over the past five, 10 years, we see that half of the internal medicine residents who used to go into uh, uh, internal medicine primary care now are, are, are opting for other careers. So people would much rather be a specialist, a dermatologist, um, a plastic surgeon um, than, than be a primary care internist, pediatrician, or family practitioner. You know, ultimately, there's going to have to be a system to take care of these people. So we have a third-party payer system, insurance companies now, that screen for sick people, and they refuse to insure sick people. So part of the solution of, of health care is going to be some fallback system, some net, safety net for those people, and that's going to be outside of the private sector. But that's a far cry from nationalized or socialized medicine where everybody um, is entitled to free health care on the government. Doctors, patients. We, we live in a free economy. We live in a free market economy. Um, it's important to realize that you can't have a socialism carve-out or a socialistic carve-out for medicine. It's not going to work. Um, people are going to want the freedom to get the best care, to get their own care, to make their decisions. And I don't think the American public is going to tolerate a system like they have in, in Canada or Great Britain. They're just not going to accept the, the, the quality.